I must give God what I cannot do through prayer. We have to give God what I cannot do through prayer. I choose joy. It's a mindset. Joy is a mindset, and it's the fruit of the Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, if you have Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit, so you have the fruit of the Spirit, you have joy, and then you choose that mindset, and then you give God what I cannot do through prayer. Let's look at the verse again. He says this. Do not be anxious. The very next verse. Do not be anxious about anything. Anxiety. Anxiety has been studied so much, and and we live in a mental health crisis in our country right now. And what he's saying, the antidote to that is joy and prayer. Look what he says. But in how many situations? Every. Everybody say every. Every Every situation. In every situation. By what? By prayer and petition. With thanksgiving. Present your request to God. In other words, you're not just whining to God about everything that's happening in your life. It's okay to talk to God. It's okay to cry out to God. But we're not whining to God. We're communicating with Him. Prayer is talking to God. It is our open communication line where we are talking to Him. Jesus, when He taught us to pray, He said, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our posture should be this. As we pray, we look Look to the heavens who is our Father, and we say, hallowed be your name. You are worthy of our praise. 